Systems of equations, as you know, are two equations or more that have one solution. So in previous videos, I've gone through the sequence of the graphing method, substitution method, the elimination method, and now we're putting those to work in applications or word problems. I got two word problems for you to try. All right, number 15, let's try this. Julio's school is selling tickets to the annual dance competition. On the first day of ticket sales, the school sold six senior citizen tickets and 12 student tickets for a total of $186. The school took in $41 on the second day by selling three senior season tickets, uh, sorry, senior citizen tickets and two student tickets. What's the price of each one senior citizen ticket and one student ticket? All right, so we've got two variables there. I'm going to go ahead and say that senior citizen, we'll call that S, and student ticket, we'll call it T, T for teenager. So our first task is to write two equations. Now let's look at this information right here. Six senior citizen tickets, 12 student tickets, total of $186. All right, it's important that we interpret that as an equation. So six times the cost of senior citizen tickets each, so 6s, plus 12 of the student tickets, T for teenagers. Total cost, total cost, added all together and it's supposed to give us $186, okay? So that's how I interpret that. Now the other one, we got three senior citizen tickets and two student tickets for $41, right? So. Let's go with 3s plus 2t, and that equals 41. All right, not so bad. Now we could use substitution, but I don't have a 1t or a 1s in either equation, so it would be a little more complicated to do it that way. Let's go ahead with elimination, which means I'm looking at multiplying that second equation by a negative 2. Now, think about it for a second. Why would I do that? That's right, because that would give me a negative 6s here, and those would be eliminated. Those are opposites. So let's go ahead and write each equation again, and I like to do it vertically just to keep organized. Equations can be written this way, and the 6s terms drop out and are eliminated. Now we have 8t equals 104 so T would be $13 each teenage or student ticket $13 alright let's substitute it in one of our equations and let's go ahead and choose the second one here it looks like the numbers are smaller so 3s plus 2t but t, t is $13 right and then I'm going to have 41 as my total amount of sales. So 3s plus 26 equals 41. Subtract 26 from each side. And eventually I'm going to get senior citizen ticket is $5. So there's our two answers. And we have solved that system of equations. All right, one more. I'm going to have you read it, pause the video, and try it on your own. All right, as you read this, you notice that we have a school A and a school B. And this is a pretty key here that each van and each bus carry the same number of students. So that's why we know it's a multiplication there. So 6V represents 6 van loads of students, and 10B is 10 buses. So that's how we interpret that. V for vans, B for buses. So again, substitution is not going to be a great choice. Let's go with elimination. And we're going to work with the 10 and the 2, because those are a nice combination of numbers. Here are two equations rewritten, and notice that the B terms are eliminated. So don't be concerned about the negative signs because usually they work themselves out. We do know that our answers have to be positive 
because we're talking about numbers of students. So in our last step here, we're going to divide by the negative 59. And then we have a negative divided by a negative, so our answer is going to be a positive number. 12. It's going to be 12 students in each van. All right, substitute it in to get our second answer. I'm going to use the second, or no, the first equation because it says 6v instead of 13v. I'm trying to keep my numbers small here. So 6 times 12 students per van plus 10b from the first equation here equals 382. All right, that'd be 72 plus 10b equals 382. 72 from each side. 10b equals 310 and b equals 31. So 31 students in every bus and 12 students in every van. All right, thank you. Well, there's one more video in this series and I would like you to watch it. Look for the title, How to Solve Systems of Equations, Self Quiz. We're gonna take a look at all these methods I've been talking about and having you try them on your own. So good luck and thanks for watching.